is going on everybody? Welcome to Protect the Bag. Now this is a show that gives you financial insights from uh, the crazy point of view, if you know what I mean. You see what I did there? Anyway, I'm Lecrae, your host. Let's get started. Now of course we can't talk about protecting the bag if you don't know how to take control of it. Taking control of the bag is like Grogu in The Mandalorian. You gotta take control. Now the culture named the baby Yoda, but I'ma call him Yoda. Now what I'm about to mention may wear you out like the little guy using the force, but this is the way. So I'm just gonna say it. Some of y'all need a budget. Let's be honest. I mean, seriously, what does it mean to take control of your finances? I need you to think the opposite of Migos living bad and bougie, all right? Most of you all need to live very ordinary lives. You can't afford it right now. So let's talk budget. Now, I know what you're thinking. Budget, oh, that's like giving mints to a kid at Halloween. Listen, I, I, I get it. You're like the kid saying, what is this? Give me some clear wrap butterscotch candy or something, but not mints. I know it's not the full size candy bar you thought it was gonna be, but trust me, it's better than mints. Budgets are a foundational way for people to manage the money coming in and going out so they can meet their financial goals, like paying off debt or having an emergency fund or building wealth or just balling out and hitting up that vacation spot you've always wanted to go to. I'm talking about that DJ Khaled all white party type of vibe. But listen, for me, understanding a budget was what helped me know I was living above my means. Budgeting helped me put money into my emergency savings account versus my six times a day Star Cups coffee habit. Listen, we're all victims of not knowing where our money goes, especially when it comes to that liquid crack, AKA coffee. And then there's also that shopping center that starts with a T and has a aiming logo. I mean, that's the drug of all drugs for people young and old. You walk in there to get some soap, you end up leaving with towels and air fryer, a whole bunch of home decor, and then you realize you never got the soap. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But let's talk about some numbers, especially when it comes to budgeting, all right? Now, 44% of people say money is their main source of stress, while 65% of Americans don't even know how much they spent last month. Seriously. But if I asked you how much money Beyonce's worth or how many points LeBron had in last night's game, you could probably recall that quicker than a car company does their airbags. Listen, financial health includes having a budget and knowing where your money goes. You know how people have relationship goals? Well, we need budget goals. It's crucial to track your money, especially through a budget, right? Because that's the way you take control of the bag. It's like being a secret agent tracking your mark. I mean, you gotta be Jason Bourne, John David Washington when it comes to these dollars. Maybe this right here can explain what I'm talking about. Check it out. Uh. <laughs> hey, cat plays keyboard. Wow. So funny. All right, babe. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Get ready. Oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> what? Hey, just if you don't mind, let's cut that in half. There we go. Budget and brush. A little, a little too much for tomorrow. Hey, you hungry? Yes, I'm sorry. Good, because I made you much. What is this? Oh, that is half of half of a sandwich because we're rationing, but ration now, Cancun later, am I right? Three chips for you, three chips for me. I'm gonna fan them out for you. I know that's how you love them, so. Savings. Okay, babe, I'm about to leave for my meeting. Okay. Just get my socks oh, on oh, out the oh, door. Oh, oh. Uh, we're only doing socks on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Save money on water with the whole laundry thing. But don't worry, today is Sandal Saturday. It's winter, love. It's 20 degrees outside. 
way ahead of you. I read an article, I'll send it to you. Uh, exposed feet, cold weather, it's good for the metabolism, heart rate, and I auto started the car, so it's already heated up. Come on, team player. <laughs> Sandals Saturday, that's hilarious. Listen, tracking your dollars should be like that. You don't have to be the Scrooge of food and clothing, but you do have to protect the bag. And budgeting is just that. Now, there's some questions you've got to have answers to, like how much are you spending total each month in cash, debit, and credit transactions? Check out this conversation between myself and my good friend so you can find out more about budgeting. I got a million dollars. It's a lot of pizza, bro. Pizza. What's going on y'all? This is Lecrae and we are back with another episode of Protect the Bag where we teach you financial literacy the right way. Not only is he an incredible athlete, one of the greatest shooters of NBA history, he's one of my good friends, Kyle Corver, y'all. I mean, just thinking about money, like, so I was a second round pick. Um, I signed a two year, non-guaranteed, one million dollar contract. So I had year one, I think was like $460,000 and year two was $640,000. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> I got a million dollars. <laughs> right. A million dollars. I've come out of college where I had like, you know, $300 got me through the year, right? right? Like I just need some money for pizza and you know, whatever, little things here and there. I got a million dollars. A lot of pizza, bro. It's a lot of pizza. You think. Right, 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 okay. And then you find out the hard way that the government takes 46%. Mm. Agent, Uncle takes, Sam. agent takes 3%. Mm. I give 10% to church, charity, work bigger than myself, right? Mm. So I actually only got 40%. So that first year, I was supposed to get $460,000, so I thought 40% of that is $184,000. Yeah, that's a big difference. That sounds a lot different, that's right? That's a big difference. But I had some great vets, right, around me. Aaron McKee okay. gave me great advice. He said, Kyle, in, with this NBA career, you can live like a king for a few years or you can live like a prince for a lifetime. And I'm mm. like, that's great. That's great. That's good advice, sound advice. I'm not going to buy a car. I'm not going to buy a house. I'm not going to buy any jewelry. I'm not going to buy these bigger things. I'm just going to live more simply, right? Surely I have enough money, $184,000, yeah. to make it through the year. So I go through this year, I don't buy anything big, and I find out with two weeks left before the next season starts, my bank account has zero dollars in it. <laughs> I spent $184,000 on, I don't even know what. Probably pizza. <laughs> I don't even, I bought, I bought a flat screen, a 50 inch flat screen TV, Little surround sound, right? I got a bed and a dresser. Yeah. Bunch of DVDs, a yeah. couple video games. That's all I had to show for my wow. $184,000. And I was just like, yo, it was an incredible lesson for me. Like, as thinking about money going forward, like, it's good. Like, the concept of like a king for a little bit, a prince for a lifetime. But I just, I realized how easy it is to waste your money. Mm. All right, no matter how much money you make, we all struggle with keeping up with the Joneses or the Kardashians. And if someone who grew up without a bag to protect, I know how difficult it can be to keep up. I remember watching 30 for 30 broke, where 78% of former NFL players went bankrupt within two years of their retirement. I mean, how do you keep yourself from being in part two of that documentary? Now, you know we have to let the streets speak on this. So let's see what the public has to say about budgeting. All right, what's going on, y'all? This is Lecrae, Protect the Bag. Who do we have here? Erica Queen. Kumar Austin. Penny, is this correct? Yes. Where you from, Penny? Philly. Philly in the building. Who do you think got the bigger bag, Kanye or Drake? Ooh. Ooh. I think maybe Kanye got the bigger bag. Probably would say Kanye. You a Drake hater? Oh, uh, no, nah, I like Drake. <laughs> I just think he can do better. So you think Drake is cute? Nah. That's not what you just said? Do you save? Are you a saver? Yes, I like, ooh. I'm not gonna just say I do say. Um, it's it's. I'm learning. <laughs> so you don't have a savings account? Oh, I do. I'm yeah. But, but I, I ain't gonna. I'm a spender. I ain't gonna. Have. When someone says protect the bag, what is it? What comes to mind? Um, 
secure what you got coming in, going out, either or. Oh, no, nah, we're gonna protect the bag always. Like, keeping an account, I ain't gonna lie, I always have something to put away, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna spend it. Kanye has a bigger bag now, and Kanye decides to give Penny a million dollars. What is Penny gonna do with it? We're gonna secure the fam for sure. Absolutely gotta start there. On a tour. A tour around where? Where would you go? Um, depends. It, I never been there before. Tell me about the pins. It depends, like, on where I want to go. Okay. Really, you know, not everybody got to be a million billionaire. I just want to be successful enough to where me and my family can live good for real. But you got a billionaire boys club shirt on. <laughs> I can't argue that way. So you want to go around the world? Okay. Are we? Will we taking Greyhound? Oh no. How are we getting around the world? We're on a jet. We're going private jet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the private jet. That's how we blowing it back today. You hear these terms. 50, 30, 20. What jumps to your mind? It's almost like a... Um, maybe a mindset thing? So, like, you leave the person who is an 80% of everything that you may need for the 20 that you may desire, which is not good. So, does that 80% include somebody having a nice bag? I would say so. Once again, the streets have spoken. Now, listen, people, budgeting is not for broke college students. It's how the wealthy stay wealthy. And it's for those who want to get financially healthy. It's a habit you need, especially if you want to protect the bag. Well, that's all the time we budgeted for. You, you see what I did there? No? Okay, whatever. The point is, that's our time. I'm your host, Lecrae, and this is Protect the Bag. Until next time.